Hey guys, Michael here. I'm uh, really excited to show you our new website and show you uh, how I made it with backend being WordPress without really using WordPress on our site. It's all uh, .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp. So um, those of you who have been following us, Zoom at me, we've been building this for about 20 weeks or so. Uh, last week was a 20 week anniversary. Uh, I did a blog post here, you can see I also posted on LinkedIn in, in case you, you've seen that. Uh, but this is a new website, so I created a. Um, took me some time to go over and create a new website with more screenshots and information. Feel free to go in and, and read that. But today's video is going to be focused on using WordPress without really fully using it. And the reason being is that WordPress is really hard to maintain. It, it's really. I call it the Windows OS of the web and the reason being is that all, all of the spam and, and viruses kind of attack WordPress. First it's open source so they get, a, they, they get their hands on the source code and it's easy to um, hack once you've seen the code. right? So you have to constantly maintain it, constantly maintain the plugins and all that. So I, I always, and secondly it's PHP which is not, not really a modern language and has its limitations. Um, and I really for a long time I was debating on using it at all but then I finally came up with a solution that kind of still kind of allows me to use some of the um, features of the WordPress without building everything from scratch while still kind of uh, finding a way to have a low maintenance really high performance system so let me show you um, so if you go to our blog here this is all coming from WordPress but and then you can read, but look at how fast this is, right? So this is being cached in, into the memory of .NET. So if I were to do, uh, if, do, if you guys do have 12, go into network tab. If I were to refresh to this page, this this literally took, um, I don't know, it's like 60 milliseconds. It's nothing, right, to load a page uh, compared to what WordPress takes. Um, and but again, this is the, although this is cached, as soon as I, I do a new post on, on my WordPress, it's gonna automatically see that new post. In fact, let me show you that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a new post here. Um, call it, I don't know, test5556 five, 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 or 77. And you can still use the UI of WordPress publishing, you know, features and scheduling and all that, which is really nice and the what you see with uh, in the, the whistling editor right uh, all that is good i can hit publish and notice the url is test777 i go back to my blog i refresh my blog there you go i see my new post and it's still that fast it's really fast right uh, so how did i and secondly so it's not just that so this is I'm using the, those of you who are more technical. I'm using the WordPress uh, REST API to pull the post, but it's not just that, right? This, uh, secondly, there's a couple of pieces in here. Um, number one, using the REST API to pull the data from WordPress. Number two is um, finding a way to cache it in, in, on your side so that it's really fast, while at the same time, you know, allowing WordPress to ping and say, hey, I have a new post. So you have to clear the cache and refresh your cache uh, so that you always have fresh content coming from the API. And it's really easy to do. I, I did not even have to install any plugins. All of this is kind of built in. And I'm gonna show you a really cool, neat trick that's built into the WordPress. If you go in, into you know, settings writing here, okay, now come to this page. Uh, it's got the usual stuff the main but this is the key part here update service so this update service is used to kind of ping other sites letting them know when there is a post there's a new content on your site so that they can come and you know um, pull the content into the, their publishing sites so instead i'm going to use this feature to uh, ping my api to clear the cache that's what exactly this what this this does so I don't have to build any plugins. I don't have to, you know, create any hacky code. Uh, it's all built in. It's it's come comes out of the box. Um, 
so it's it's a nice feature so go ahead and use that but there's one more thing i wanted to kind of bring up before closing this this uh, uh video um so as you can see my blog is is kind of hidden url here right um in fact it's so hidden that you can't even get to it even if you wanted to let me show you like if i were to open open let's say i don't know edge where's my edge here see this is the url there you go bum it's gonna bum out asking you for a login to even see the wordpress site so you're not gonna even be able to see it nor be able to hack it none of it right I, this is kind of second layer of security i've added to my WordPress so that it's not public. No one can see it except my API, which is what I wanted, right? Because I want to prevent any type of hacking, any type of spammy comments, anything, you know, that's other than my API using my uh, blog, other than, you know, also myself, right? I can, I still want to be able to log in into the admin panel or my team, right? And then publishing new content. So this is, what, what do you need to know? Um, so if you want really high performing website using the uh, WordPress API while still being able to clear your cache when a new content uh, comes on WordPress and also um, adding a second layer of security on your WordPress, it's really easy to do. By the way, this is, those of you who are wondering what this is, this is a simple uh, Apache uh, user authentication that I think most uh, hosting providers will, will give you. Uh, but, you know, we're going to support this also on our Zoom admin. Those of you who don't know what this is, go ahead and read this. This Zoom admin will allow you to connect your servers uh, and will give you this really rich uh, control panel to install, you know, multiple applications, Apache DNS, other stuff, including WordPress is going to have its own application. And, you know, I'm going to build into that application this, this security mechanism and also the um, update kind of service, all of this kind of built into our app, app interface. So that's really going to be easy to install and use WordPress without, um, you, know, have, you know, going into the code yourself, right? So that's it for this video. Uh, and again, um, if you want to use WordPress without fully using it, you like the admin features, uh, you know, publishing content, you don't like the, the slowness of WordPress and, the, the, you know, how easy it is to hack and spam um, and or the maintenance headaches, this will kind of make all that go away because uh, I, I literally don't even have to update WordPress anymore. I can just let it go for years. No one is going to be able to hack this because I have a second layer of security, including my IP of the API pooling uh, service that I can tie down to certain IPs so that uh, no one else can see. Um, so again, uh, if at some point, by the way, I'm thinking of making this its own application in terms of the the client side so the back end is the wordpress right we saw we talked about, talked about the features um but the ui and still took me some time to build to to this extent being really fast and high performing while pulling wordpress content and you can read more this is by the way 20 week anniversary go ahead and read this Post. We will see kind of how what um, steps we went through. We're still in development, but I, I'm planning on kind of pa packaging this uh, this client side website into an app on its own as well. It, it'll either be inside the Zoom admin you can install. But if you if you want to get your hands on this before, then um, reach out to me. We'll work something out. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for uh, watching and I'll talk to you next week.